I'm back just for the quick uh, a quick little video I wanted to talk about something that I think will help everyone um, understand the, or sort of get the most they can out of from the videos I've already put online and hopefully it'll set everyone up for the next set of videos that are coming up it's specifically related to a question I got uh, sent to me a few months ago that I haven't had a chance to answer yet because um, well I had a lot of things on my plate and I had never been asked this question before, so I really had to think about it to come up with an appropriate answer. Now, I've done a little write-up on my site, and I'm going to have that available um, on Chicho TV, probably in a miscellaneous section or something like this, or questions maybe. Um, so there is a write-up there, and this video is uh, going to be embedded in that write-up. So hopefully the double dose of uh, written explanation in the video um, will clear things up. Okay, The email that I got was... Uh, it, basically, the main, the main question was, why is a negative and a negative equal a positive? Now, there was a few other questions in the email as well, but all of them were dependent on this one question being answered, or this one, um, one problem that this person was having. Now, I did a little bit of research online, and I found out that there's a lot of, uh, uh, lot of people have asked this question, and I found some answers, but a lot of the answers were based on proving that a negative and negative equal to positive in math. Um, what I want to talk about is why this property exists, why this is true. Now the best way, the simplest way to think about this is uh, just like the English language where a double negative is a positive, mathematics works the same way. A negative and a negative makes a positive. So it, both languages are consistent uh, with each other. Now in the email the person um, wanted me to give an example where uh, you know, two negatives make a positive. One of the problems that, uh, uh, that uh, one of the issues with this question was that it was assumed that a negative number had a negative connotation. That, that, that was, uh, you know, it was a bad thing. So, you know, in the email, the, and online, a lot of people were asking that, you know, they don't know any examples in nature where two negatives make a positive. Now, you can't think that way when it comes to mathematics. Math is, is a non, it, it doesn't have any emotions attached to it, it's just a language. So when we say um, we have a negative number, it doesn't mean it's a bad number, or if a positive number is a good number. A negative number, it just means it's a negative number. The negative part is, is a property of that number. It's like having black hair, or white hair, or yellow hair, or blue eyes, or you know, two arms, one arm, doesn't make a difference. It's just a property, it's a trait of a number, okay? So a negative number doesn't have any emotions attached to it where two wrongs make a right. It doesn't work that way. Um, you know, in, in life, it really doesn't work that way. Two wrongs do not make a, make a right. But in math, when two properties of uh, one kind merge, they might come up with a different property which could be two negatives, and when they merge, they come up with a positive. Now, the best example that I could come up with, and I thought about a, a, a lot of them, but this is the best way that I could explain it as an example goes, is let's assume a single person is, is given the property of a negative number, and let's call it a negative one. So, a single person is negative one, okay? Let's call a couple a married couple or just a couple, doesn't you don't have to be married to be a couple. So let's just call a couple positive one. Okay. So given this uh, let statement, and in mathematics you do a lot of let statements where you say let x equal something. So you're defining what x is. Right now we're doing the same thing. We're doing a let statement and saying a single person is negative one and a couple is a positive one. They're one couple. Okay. So if we take two single people, negative one, and merge them, negative one times negative one, you get positive one, which is consistent with our let statement, which is consistent with the language of mathematics, and it's also consistent with English. Now, keep in mind that uh, in math, words have meaning. So and in mathematics means multiplication with in mathematics, in general means addition. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see this actually, but maybe I should make them bigger. Let's make these bigger. 
let's say and equals multiplication and with is equal to addition. So right now, we sort of prove to ourselves that two single people merging, a negative and a negative is equal to a positive. If we use the with statement, this also is um, you know, consistent, it, it, it's true. So we could say, let's say two single people go to a party. So one single person comes with another single person to a party, then you have two single people. Oops, this should be a plus, sorry. So, for both operations, and multiplication and addition, they're operations, okay? This dot really means multiplication, okay? So, with both operations, the AND statement and the WITH statement, a single AND a single makes a couple. A single with a single makes two singles, okay? Um, and that's basically, that's basically what a language is. We create symbols to explain certain properties that we observe. And we take those properties, merge them together, we do operations such as and, with, division, whatever you want, to come up with something new. And then with that something new, we can take it and merge it with something else and create something else. Okay, so it just continuously grows. So once we understand how to use a language, it allows us to, you know, just learn more and more because everything, we, everything that we learn, everything that we come up with, new things that we come up with, we can take them and expand on them and combine them with something else and see what happens. Okay, so keep that in mind. A negative number doesn't have negative connotation. It doesn't mean it's bad or, or, or it's good. It's just a property of that number. It's just a language. Okay. Uh, these are just symbols that we use to um, convey information, to talk about things that we think we know. Now, sometimes we're wrong, but this is what we, this is the best we're able to do right now. Math is the best language that we have been able to come up with to be able to explain the world around us. Now, in the future, a new language may come along which makes math, um, you know, a subset of that other language, where that other language encompasses a lot more concepts than what math can do right now. And that is something that, you know, scientists are looking at. Um, you know, th there's different branches of mathematics where they're trying to go into new areas and try to come up with you know, a certain way to solve problems which can't be solved with mathematics or there is no proofs for in mathematics. So there's got to be new, uh, sort of a new thought pattern coming along. But before we can actually come up with a new language or one of the best ways to come up with a new language is, uh, you know, learning the languages we already know. That way we're, uh, we can avoid any pitfalls that we've had with these other languages. Uh, so keep that in mind. Math is not the ultimate language. However, it's the best language that we have. Um, so the best thing we can do is understand all those properties. And uh, that's the only way we can come up with a new language or a new thought pattern where we can explain more and you know, try to understand more about uh, the world we live in. Um, I hope this helps. The write-up is on Chicho and um, you know, this video explains exactly the same thing that uh, I talk about in the write-up. So, uh, if you feel like I read that or just watch the video, it should be fine. Uh, and I hope that helps. Um, and I'll see you guys, I guess, uh, towards the end of August. Uh, I'll try to refrain from making any more videos because I really want to do it in one shot and get rid of all the other uh, uh, projects I'm already involved in, okay? Uh, I guess we'll talk later. Okay, have fun.